Hey everybody, welcome back. Zotek in the house. Zotek ZTY for your cheap pleasure. Let's take a look. As always, big shout out to Zotek. Thanks so much for sending this in for the review. Zotek, a go-to name in the OEM industry in the multimeter genre. Man, they have a lot, a ton of test instruments under their name. Wow, they are definitely one of the top providers uh, in the genre. Zotek ZTY is what we're looking at today. This is a 10,000 True RMS uh, reverse EBTN display. Pretty funky meter. I got to say this thing is sweet. Let's take a look. So it ships in a pretty cool looking box and it doesn't say Zotek on it. So basically any OEM can, you know, go ahead and basically uh, ship it as their own. No Zotek logo, so this might end up, who knows, maybe a rich meters, maybe as an anning, I don't know. But this one is definitely from a Zotek. Um, what do you get? Well, you get this thermocouple because of course it does do temperature and you get your standard El Chipo test leads. Yes, we've seen these many times before. They're okay, you know, they do the job, but as always, um, if you're doing something critical, always good idea to upgrade the test leads. Now, about two years ago, I reviewed the Anning SZ18, and you know, it's basically almost identical. Now, this is obviously a firmware two years, up to date, brand new, um, older, but still, you know, worth uh, taking a look at as well. Reverse EBTN screens, not a problem to read. Even on the outside, they're very, very easy on the eyes. Now this will be kind of a mini review because like I said, I reviewed the Anning a couple years back and it's basically the same thing. I will uh, highlight a few features though that I missed in the original review. By the way, the shrouds on these test leads are a little bit on the small side for my liking, prefer them a little bit longer. That being said though, they do get in there and they're tight, nice and snug, uh, definitely not going anywhere. All right, let's start off with a DC precision test. We have that nice output voltage of 5.000 volts DC. Let's see how close we come. And what is into like 5.000 volts? Spot on, Zotec. Beauty. Fit and finish wise, hey, no complaints as always. This is a very nice meter. I'm a little bit on the smaller side, not your standard full size multimeter, but uh, very, very nicely detailed. Soft grip here. Um, it's hard maybe to make out on camera, but that is very soft rubber tactile grip. So your chances of dropping this, as I almost drop it, are, are pretty slim. My only pet peeve with this meter is that tilt stand. It's a little flimsy. Um, you know, it's yeah, not the greatest tilt stand out there. But that being said, I mean, it, it does do the job. And of course, at the top there, we have our flashlight as well as that NCV indicator. Overall, quality wise, very nice. And a big bonus as well is that selector switch. Check it out. Audible beep, but man, it hits those ranges with authority. You know you are uh, in position. No worries of getting lost between ranges. This is one great feeling selector. This big shout out goes to our Scandinavian friends in Sweden. Bad new die. Thanks for watching. Let's take a closer look at that selector switch, starting off at the off position. Volts AC DC, including variable frequency control and frequency and duty cycle. Millivolts AC-DC. Resistance, continuity, diode, and capacitance. Non-contact voltage. Signal out generator. High current amps, AC-DC. Milliamps, AC-DC. Finally microamps, AC-DC. At the top of the meter, we have our select and our variable frequency control, our range, our rel, max min, and also the hold slash flashlight. And at the bottom, we have our four input jacks, high current up to 10 amps, Below that, we have our milliamp and microamp in the middle, a common ground. Finally, on the far right, we have our diode, signal out, continuity, temperature, voltage, resistance, frequency, and capacitance. This little guy is loaded. And by the way, the flashlight on this multimeter is actually usable. Very bright and a good bead of light coming out there. So a usable flashlight. Go figure. As you can see, size-wise, it's definitely not the biggest multimeter out there and not the smallest. 
sort of in between pocket size. Maybe that's stretching it a bit, but it's definitely a portable meter. Now when you're in current mode, you're gonna get this. Yes, a beep, an audible beep that comes around every 10 seconds or so. And it's just letting you know that yes, you are in current mode. AC or DC current, doesn't matter. You're gonna get the beep. It doesn't go off. It can be a little irritating. Some people have complained. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. I think it's kind of a neat little safety feature. Your mileage may vary. I like it. We are sitting in high current mode right now, 8.9 amps, according to the GVD power supply. Coming in as 9.1 on the ZTY. Okay, let's bring it up. 10 amps, 10.02 amps, and we're getting that over limit on the ZTY. Just bring it back down a little bit. 9.75, so it seems to be a little bit high, a little bit high on the DC amp side of things. 9.7 amps coming in uh, at 9.5 according to the power supply. DC milliamps sitting at 10.8 milliamps, looking good. Let's take it up, up and away. 13.50 milliamps, 13.56. 17.2 milliamps coming in at 17.29, excellente. All the way up to 20 milliamps, and 20.01 wow beauty so in low milliamp mode this thing will serve you just fine and of course you got that gorgeous dual display screen oh man that thing is sweet loving it um slight discrepancy here in terms of temperature uh three different meters three different temperatures go figure 19 degrees for the uh, zotec 980 20 for the zty and 21 for the anning so i mean it's you know pretty close but yeah definitely a little bizarre they're all off just by a tiny bit these are all ambient sensors by the way uh, all on board and once again man that ebtn is just sweet Check out those bar graphs now. Um, which one do you prefer? Uh, definitely both are on the verbose side. You're getting a lot of info here. Nice uh, analog style output. Um, in terms of sensitivity though, and we're just trying to stay under that six volt range, but I'm gonna have to give this one. Oh, it's close, it's close, believe me. Oh, wow. Is it too close to call? Oh. Well, by a, by a hair, I'm gonna give it to the uh, ZTY. Oh, that was close. So taking a first glance here, we have the Anning on the top, Zotec on the bottom, and you'll notice pretty well identical in terms of outward appearance. Uh, yeah, look at those input jacks where the uh, fuses are, the whole nine yards basically identical. So moving up to the top, things get a little bit more interesting. First off, you'll notice they're not cobbed. No, no chip on board. We have instead a quad flat package. Good job, Zotec. Um, definitely uh, more expensive from a dying process for the manufacturer, but uh, better uh, in the long run. So, excellente. Um, now what gets even more interesting is if you look at those uh, ICs, they're not the same. They're actually different. Um, on the older Anning, we have the uh, DreamTech. That's the uh, DTM0660L uh, microcontroller. Seen that a lot on these uh, cheapy multimeters in the cheapo realm. Great processor and always seems to be teamed up with that uh, T24C02 EEP ROM. They pretty well part in parcel. On the newer version, on the Zotec here, um, we have instead uh, the microcontroller is the DM1109EN. 1109, couldn't find any data sheet on the 1109. I do think it is just a slightly newer revision of the 1106 that uh, once again Zotec uses a lot and that is based on the Hi-Contec HY12P66 microcontroller. Zotec uses a lot of Hi-Con series microcontrollers in their product lineup paired with that same EEP ROM, the T24C02. Nice attention to detail as always, clean, no flux residue. Um, everything is looking really nice. And that NCV again over here, just a inlay. That is all that we have for the non-contact voltage. There you have it, nice and clean, looking good. Already gonna put everything back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Zotec ZTY. Oh man, get this multimeter. What can I say? This is a lot of multimeter and a small portable package. It oozes quality. I mean, this thing just feels great in the hands, uh, easy to work with, and uh, small enough to leave it on the bench or put it in your car, what have you. It is definitely.
But portability aside, it's also a very good test instrument. Uh, extremely accurate, uh, easy on the eyes, ton of ranges, and uh, that EPTN display just looks like a million bucks. Probably loaded with more features than you're really ever gonna use, but that being said, less is always more. Well, in this case, not really more or less. The heck am I talking about? I see some minuscule improvements over its predecessor, but that being said, hey, newer is always better in the multimeter genre, and hey, why not get the latest and the greatest? Not much to be said on the negative side of things other than that tilt stand. It's just a little too wibbly wobbly for my liking, but hey, now I am nitpicking. No, the Zotec ZTY is a great multimeter at a great price. The Zotec ZTY gets a solid four out of five stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Oh man, 2023 is just around the corner. I can't wait. Till the next one, keep on testing. Hey, thanks for staying to the end of the video because as you know, it is the holiday season. I have my beautiful wife, Olenka here by my side. Say <laughs> hi to everybody, Olga. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. And at the end of the year, January 1st, I'm gonna have a giveaway, a little giveaway. We're gonna give away the Sanwa PM3, uh, amazing little pocket style digital multimeter for one lucky <laughs> subscriber. All you gotta do is leave a comment below in this video and you're automatically entered to win. What do you think? I think it's very awesome and very cool thing to have in the end of the year. I think it's good. Oh yeah. Do you have anything to say to all our amazing viewers out there? Uh, I was about to say happy holidays and uh, we're all looking forward to the new year and we hope that uh, the new year will bring us more better things. Oh, for sure. It's going to be an amazing new year. 2023 is going to be um, the best yet. I have nothing but positive vibes. Do you want to say anything new to uh, our Ukrainian friends and family, uh, people in the Ukraine? Glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. Slava Ukraini. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great season, um, a great holiday season. All the best. Uh, wish everybody an amazing new year, and uh, we'll see you soon.